Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to install SSH. SSH is very useful if you have, for example, a whole rack full of servers and um, don't have any um, keyboard, mouse or monitor hooked up to it and still need to have access to it and um, SSH connects you right to the console to the uh, machine you need to have access to and it's gonna be a very short tutorial because it's not a lot to it at least not in in the basic configuration if you want to use a little bit more uh, complex uh, configuration and restrict the access to it then uh, yeah you gotta dig through those uh, configuration files and I'm just showing you how to install it and make sure that you're using the um, protocol version number two uh, because of uh, version one had some security flaws and they fixed it in version two so um, yeah just let's get started um, with to begin with we have to install SSH and in order to do that we say sudo and then apt-get install SSH let's open SSH just server and hit enter and usually it would ask you for a username and password but I installed something earlier so I cached it so that's it's a pretty short uh, download and installation here should be done here in any second and when that is done um, the SSH server should be running automatically well, we'll verify that here very quick now it's generating uh, security keys for the um, connection between your computer and the destination one. All right, and now have a quick look if our SSH is running. SSH, enter, and right here you can see that our server is running. All right, then. Now have a look at the configuration file. You sudo and then nano etc ssh and then sshd underscore config and then if you see here ssh is listening on port 22 and then here you can specify uh, what IP address or what subnet uh, should have access and here it is the protocol number two so that's important should be installed on uh, by default with any Ubuntu um, distribution but if you use something else um, just go in here and verify if it's a protocol 2 and if not change it to to this one and then just restart the service and you're good to go all right get out of here and that's about it um, in the next tutorial I'll show you how we access the server via SSH and then actually I'm going to install NFS services and um, show you how to configure a share that you can easily access within a subnet we specify so I hope you will I will see you guys again in the next tutorial and have a good evening